Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Druid leveling build. So there's a couple things I want you guys to take a look at when you're looking into your Druid build, and how you can level quickly with this build. So, first off, we're going to actually take a look at some of the different types of legendary aspects you're going to want to hunt down while you're playing Diablo 4. First off, of course, is going to be the gloves, the aspect of the Yersin Horror. This is going to be a very important aspect for this build. It's going to pulverize, is now also an earth skill. After casting Pulverize, Tectonic Spice continue to deal damage over 2 seconds, basically increasing your damage by quite a bit. Unlocking by completing the Belfry Zakara in Hawazar as well. So a very easy unlock there to get this aspect. Next up we have the Ballistic Aspect. It's going to be a very important aspect on your boots. When you have Fortify, your Earth skills gain plus 2 ranks. Unlocked by completing the Whispering Pines in Skulls Glint. Next up, we have the aspect of retaliation. Your core skills deal up to 20 to 40% increased damage based on the amount of fortify. Another very important one to continue to stay alive with your druid build as you continue to level. This is going to be unlocked by Seaside Descent in Dry Steps. Next up, we have the aspect of the Umbriel on your first ring slot. This is going to restore one to four of your primary resource when you crowd control an enemy. Very good for just resource regeneration. And this is going to be the main legendary aspects you're going to be wanting to grab as quickly as possible during your leveling experience. Okay, so let's talk about the gems a little bit and then we'll jump into the skill tree after we talk about the spirit boons as well. So the gems, first off, on the weapon, of course, you are going to want to take the overpowered damage, which in this case is going to be the ruby for the weapon. Armor, we're going to be taking 3% damage reduction while fortified. It's going to be a sapphire gem. And then on the jewelry, we are going to be taking the skull, which is going to give us plus 250 armor. Very, very strong to keep us alive as long as possible. Now we go to the spirit boons in the bottom middle. You can see that we're taking the gift of the stag, which is going to gain 10 maximum spirit. We're also going to be taking the scythe talons, which gains plus 5% increased critical strike chance. And then avian wrath as well so this is going to gain you quite a bit of critical strike damage next up we have the wolf which is going to be the bolster fortify 10 percent of your maximum life when you use a defensive skill again staying alive is very important in this game you can't level if you're dead so a very important thing to do is grab the bolster for the fortify and then we have the snake with the obsidian slam so every 10th kill will cause your next earth skill to overpower increasing your overall damage all right, guys, so let's jump into the skill tree. This is going to be the important part of the build, obviously, is the skills themselves. So let's jump through and take a look at Storm Strike because Storm Strike is going to be your primary hitter. This is going to be the auto attack that you're going to constantly use to generate spirit. So Storm Strike, we are going to be taking Enhanced Storm Strike and Fierce Storm Strike as well. From there, we're going to come down just a little bit and we are going to be taking the Pulverize to rank 5 because this is going to be a Pulverize leveling build. Pulverize is going to be needed at the highest level possible. So we are going to be taking Enhanced Pulverize with that as well as Raging Pulverize. From there, we're also going to make sure we are taking the Passives Heart of the Wild as well as Wild Impulses. As we look down here, there are two more Passives that we are going to want to take. As we get to that level 50, of course, we are going to want to take some more of these Passives like predatory instinct so critical strike chance against close enemies is increased and then we have the iron fur which is more damage reduction when in werebear form so very very good and uh, i want to talk a little bit about this next earthen bulwark ability again it gives you a barrier that absorbs 45 percent of your base life in damage another great way to stay alive and that's why we're going to be taking the enhanced earthen bulwark as well as the preserving earthen bulwark Again, we are going to be taking another ability in this category. It's going to be Blood Howl this time. Shapeshift into a werewolf and howl furiously, healing you for 20% of your maximum life. With that, we're going to be taking Enhanced Blood Howl as well as Innate Blood Howl, which is going to generate that 20 additional spirit. From there, we're going to come down and we're going to be taking Poison Creeper and the Enhanced Poison Creeper as well as the Ferocious Poison Creeper. This is going to be a great ability to take with the passive clarity gaining six spirit when transforming into human form again resource generation or really spirit generation in this case is very very important in every leveling build the more resource you have the faster you can use the spenders and the faster damage you can put out 
So next up, we're going to be taking Trample with Enhanced Trample as well as Natural Trample. And then we have Crushing Earth as the passive, Stone Guard as a passive, as well as Neurotoxin, one rank in that, and then three in Envenom as well. And now we're down to some of the important spells. This is going to be where we're going to be taking a lot of strong passives like the Quick Shift. So when you Shape Shift, Skill transforms into a different form. It deals increased damage. Take that to rank three as well as Natural Fortitude to rank two. One point into Defiance, three points into Natural Disaster, three points into Resonance. And then we have our last passive, which is Earth and Strength. Gain 20% additional maximum life while in Werebear form for three seconds after leaving Werebear form. So while healthy deal, 30% increased damage as well. Very, very strong passive. Going to continue to help you out while you're leveling. Again, you are playing the Druid, so you are going to want to use this through the intended leveling for World Tier 1. Head to Hawazar to unlock the aspect of the Ursine Whore ASAP. And you can also target farm the rest of the Codex aspects mentioned above to help with damage and resource regeneration. And then take Tornado over Pulverize at level 4 to make this starter boss faster if you want. You can also run Wolves over Blood Howl for more single target damage, but a lot less spirit generation and sustain. And uh, if you guys are interested, you can check out one of the starter builds once you get level 50 as damage reduction will become a lot more important. So I will always be going over other builds here on the channel. So if you want to make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. And here is the leveling path that we showed earlier in today's video. This is going to be the order of what you are going to want to level up while you level up in Diablo 4 to continue your path to a faster and stronger druid. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next one.